Vibe Tribe, why you only tell me about the new term taking over social media right now? On today's episode, we break down the new term, main character. Thanks to the internet, we now have an influx of terms and definitions that once were unheard of. On one sharing platform, TikTok, the users have come up with the name of people who center conversations and social media posts around themselves, which is called main character syndrome. See, this describes specific pattern of behavior where for that individual, everything revolves around me, myself, and I. This person behaves as if he or she is a star and the world orbits around them. See, main character syndrome is not an official medical term or a diagnosis of a medical disorder, but more of a nickname like Doubtin Thomas, Debbie Downer, or Negative Nancy, etc. The moniker of main character comes from movies, television shows, plays, and books, where there's always a protagonist or a central figure who has enemies, frenemies, or an antagonist. It is believed that those who build stories around themselves are attempting to gain the fame they did not have in middle school. All about me, myself, and I. The Urban Dictionary says the main character has the most importance in the story and is the one who does the most to support the plot. The majority of the action revolves around an individual of a major importance. It is believed that people with the issue are dealing with low self-esteem and need to believe everyone is paying attention to them. Therapists also believe those who center the world around themselves are dealing with a narcissistic personality disorder. Perhaps such individuals don't realize they have an issue or how annoying it is for others. Consider those who may know who dominate every telephone conversation even when you have initiated the call. By the time they stop talking, you may have forgotten the reason you called in the first place. Labeling these people as having main character syndrome is more relatable and less harsh than considering them to be a narcissistic. Although this phrase came about because of social media posts, you might know someone in your family or on your job or in your neighborhood or even in hip hop who behaves as if they are the main character and everyone else is just a supporting cast. So is it you? See, main character syndrome is also referred as main character energy and has come to society via the millennials. There are experts who acknowledge it is real and list four characters of those dealing with the disorder. These have been addressed earlier, but listing them specifically might help someone recognize the traits in their own life. So here we go, Vibe Tribe. Number one, everything revolves around you and your personal issues. Number two, you cannot handle criticism. Number three, you feel your life is out of control and present yourself as the main character in attempt to feel in control. Number four, you attempt to converse your followers that your life is perfect. If you find yourself holding court in Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and are overjoyed that your loyal subjects are paying attention, please take heed. If you demand center stage with no thought for what others have to say, and believe your truth is more important, then Houston, we have a problem. If you cannot take an honest look at yourself and even consider the possibilities or ask, is it I? You may already have your answer. 